how Pez changed collectibles 12 little pieces of candy at a time. Powered by eBay. To paraphrase Huey Lewis in the news, the power of Pez is a curious thing. Invented in Vienna, Austria in 1927 by Eduard Haas III as an alternative to smoking, the ubiquitous candy's name was derived from the German word for peppermint, its original flavor. The original dispenser even resembled a cigarette lighter. The various iconic dispensers not only helped make snacking on sweets more portable, but also fueled a collector's frenzy around the globe that continues undeterred to this day. The original candy and dispenser designs remain more or less unchanged to this day, with the exception that Pez struck upon the idea of adding character heads to make the dispensers more eye-catching. Releases inspired by Halloween, Easter, and Christmas remain perennial favorites, and these days, a license getting its own Pez dispenser is indicative that it has made the pop culture big leagues. Many reflect upon the intonation of Pez as one of the most important decisions in history, as it turned simply just someone with a sweet tooth into a collector. The first Pez dispenser head was that of a witch in 1957, with Popeye being unveiled a year later as the company's first licensed character. These were immediate hits with consumers, with both parents and children being captivated by the colorful dispensers and the treats they conceal in their slender plastic bodies. To this day, Pez continues to make its own mark on history. Even if you aren't a fan of the candy's various flavors and block-like textures, it's more than likely that you have owned or been charmed by one of the dispensers at some point in your life. In fact, the Pez Outlaw, debuting at this year's South by Southwest Festival, is a documentary about Steve Glue, a smuggler who spent much of the 90s sneaking rare Pez items into the United States, making himself rich in the process. The appeal of Pez, for many collectors, lies in the fact that the dispensers reflect the times in which each was released, making them souvenirs of decades long past. From the space-age optimism of the 1950s to the psychedelic wonders of the 1960s to Mickey Mouse and Darth Vader, Pez has been there. What started out as a smoking alternative soon became a symbol of nostalgia, available for purchase on the eBay marketplace ancient gems bringing back memories to folks around the world. Therefore, we've compiled a list of 10 Pez dispensers that are absolute must-haves for serious collectors. The Creature from the Black Lagoon Collectibles based upon the Universal Monsters are an island unto themselves. So just let us say that this Gilman dispenser from the Creature from the Black Lagoon is a thing of such considerable beauty that it should be on display at MoMA. Psychedelic Eyeball The most memorable of Pez's 1960s dispensers is this psychedelic freakout. Is this a statement on how we collectively hold perception in the palm of our hand? Or was someone just really hopped up at the factory? Pez Astronaut Trapped behind a yellow visor, gazing coldly at the wonder and terror of space, this Pez Astronaut looks like the physical embodiment of David Bowie's Space Oddity. Pez Space Gun Continuing the cosmic ennui, here's a Pez Space Gun from the 1950s that kids could use to shoot Martians and then enjoy a sugary snack as a reward. Star Trek Collector's Pack In the early 2000s, Pez started releasing collector's packs of licensed characters, like this Star Trek one that allows you to eat candy straight out of the Enterprise crew's necks. Which? Fact. Pez witches are cool. Snoopy. There have been numerous Snoopy Pez dispensers over the years, but our personal favorite is this one, in which the erstwhile Joe Cool is either quietly judging you, or he's ridiculously high. Clown. To know the gaze of Clown Pez is to know despair. Gonzo. The most underrated Muppet gets an underrated dispenser. This seems cosmically right somehow. Garfield. The most inexpensive on this list is also the most relatable. Garfield is over it, as are we all. Legend has it, tech entrepreneur Pierre M. Almedyar founded eBay in 1995 to provide a way for his fiance to trade Pez candy dispensers. While this was later found to be a fabricated story, it's still a sweet one that illustrates the possibility of what can happen when necessity turns into a hobby. 
Omidyar achieved his goal of bringing together buyers and sellers in an honest and open marketplace where you can find countless collectibles, including Pez, on eBay now.